Hello. Welcome to a very special yoga class by Allo Yoga. My name is Alyssa. Parents, if you're tuning in, know that this is a class designed specifically for your kids. So go ahead and roll out a mat for them. Let them get calm and work out some wiggles. And you go do what you need to do. Now, little yogis, this class is for you. Have you seen your parents or other people practicing yoga and you want to do it? This is for you. So my name's Alyssa and I'm really glad you're here for yoga today. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's start. So come on your mat and bring your hands down to your mat and bring your knees down to your mat. We are going to do lots of different poses and many yoga poses are animals and plants and other things in our world. So this first set of poses is two, and they're two animals. So our first one, we drop our belly down, we look up, and we take a deep breath in. This is called cow pose. Got it? Try it. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, really good. Now round your spine, look at your belly, this is called cat pose. Now it's like a cat when they're like, you know, they're arching their back. Yeah, that looks right. That looks really good. Okay, so let's come back to cow pose. Drop your belly, look up. Now, what noise does a cow say? I know you all know this. Do it loud. Moo! Good! Let's round our belly now and come back to the cat. Let me hear you say what a cat says. Yeah, that's right. Meow, meow. Let's keep doing the poses, but make the animal sounds. It's way more fun this way. Drop your belly, look up, moo. And really round your spine, meow. Oh, good job. Now down, moo. And back up, meow. <laughs> so good. One more time for both. Moo and meow. The cutest little purring kitties. Very good. Come back. Make your spine really strong. Yeah? This is a top secret yoga pose. I bet you, maybe even your mommy and your dad, they don't even know this one if they do yoga. So get ready to teach them, okay? Top secret. See if you can guess which animal it is. It's a very majestic animal, very regal. Let's start moving into it and see if you can guess it. We're gonna pick up one hand, bring all the fingers down, but our pointer finger, yeah? And then bring your pointer finger right here. Have you guessed it? Have you guessed it? Do I look? It's unicorn pose, unicorn pose. Good. Now we're going to do something really special. Here's our unicorn horn. We're going to, on the count of three, send our good vibe magic sparkles into the universe. Okay? So we'll go one, two, three, and then psh, sparkle. Ready? This is going to be fun. Get your horn ready. You're a really magical unicorn. One, two, three. Psh, good vibes, love and kindness, happiness. Good job, unicorns. That was really, really good. I loved it. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Now you're going to wiggle your tail. This is down dog. Do any of you have dogs at your houses? I don't right now, but I used to, and my doggy used to wiggle his tail and wag his tail. What do dogs say? Ruff, 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 ruff. Yes, that's good. Now you're going to run up to your hands. Run, 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 run and we're gonna do a sun salutation. So first, say hi to the earth. Hi earth, hi rocks, hi grass, hi maybe even flowers and dirt. Now inhale, lift your arms up and look up, say hi to the sky. Hi sky, hi sun, hi clouds, hi birds. Good, now come back down, hi earth. How are you? Look forward, lengthen your spine and plant your hands, step your feet back and put your hips down. This is up dog. Good. And hips back, down dog. Now, most dogs have tails, right? So lift one of your tails, it's your leg. Lift it up high. 
Yes, good. Now look to your hands. Step that foot between your hands. We're going to lift up strong. And this is a warrior. Now, when we think of war warriors, we might think of fighting or anything like that, right? But in yoga, warriors are a little bit different. They're a little bit special and they're really awesome. So open your arms up, sit a little lower. This is another warrior. Our warriors are for things like kindness. Did you know it takes strength to be really kind? It does. Now reach up and back. And when you're kind, it is magical. It can change how people feel. It can change how you feel. It can make you happy when you're kind. Did you know that? So great. Now bring both hands down. We're going to go back to that down dog, right? Step the foot back. Wiggle your tail, wiggle your tail, and then lift one of your tails, your leg up. Yes, the other one. Good, that was it. Now look forward, step that foot up, and rise up. Warrior, reach up. Now what other types of warriors do we have in yoga? Sometimes we have warriors for what about courage? Have you ever had to do something that was a little bit scary? Open your arms, reach wide. When I was a kid, I was really afraid of water, so scared. But I had a lot of courage, reach up and back. And I kept trying to be around it and be brave. And then one day, it wasn't scary anymore. That's courage. That's what a yoga warrior has. Good, I'm glad lots of you, there are so many of you out there that are so brave. Let's come back down. Bring the hands down to your mat and step your foot back and shake your tail, shake your tail, shake that little tail. Woof, woof. Did you woof too? Let me hear you woof. Really good. That was nice. Now, walk your hands back to your feet. Walk your hands back to your feet. We are going to do gorilla pose. Have any of you seen a gorilla in the zoo? They're big and strong. They have so many muscles. So be strong and big like a gorilla. Yeah, strong and big. Now we're going to try a trick. Bring your hands down. Step on your hands just a little bit. Reach up. Stretch. Breathe. Good. And release your hands. Nice. And walk back out. Down dog. And then look at your hands. And run up to your hands. Run, 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 run. Good. You made it. Now, raise your hand. If you have ever been on an airplane, I've, I've been on an airplane, but I didn't always go on airplanes. Raise your hand if you want to go on an airplane. Yes? Now raise your hand, or maybe even both, if maybe you've been on an airplane, maybe you haven't, but you just really want to fly like a bird or a plane. <gasps> Me, 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 you too. Yes, me, all of us, right? It's so cool to fly. So bring one foot down. We're going to bring our arms up and out. Airplane wings, got them? Okay, make sure they're really strong so you can fly. One foot down. Now lift your other foot up. Point your toes. And maybe your body leans down. Good. You're really strong here. Now... What do planes do when they fly? Yes, your airplane wings are working. You're flying. What about a crash? Pew! Oh, just come back up. You can fly again. It's okay if you crash down. Yes. So good. Now come back up. Reach tall. Arms out like airplane wings. Pew! Now step forward with your other foot. Make sure it's the other one. And lift your other toes up and bring your body down, and breathe, and fly. You're like a bird, a plane. Maybe Superwoman, Superman, is that you? Now fly through the clouds. Oh, dodge that plane, dodge that bird. No crashes on this side. You're getting better. Oh, but I crashed. <laughs> Come back up, oh, and down. Now, we've done 
animal poses, plane poses, tree. We're going to do a tree pose. So this is special because you're going to bring one foot up, and you're going to bring that foot either here or here, but not on your knee because you don't want to hurt your knee. So these two places, or bring your foot to the ground. So this is our tree. You feel a little balanced. Trees have things that grow out of their trunks. They might grow fast or slow. What are they called? Yep, that's right. Those are branches. Now, trees live in sunny places, rainy places, snowy places. Yeah? Yeah. What does a tree do when there's wind? <sighs> yep, it moves side to side. But see, it doesn't break. It's still balanced and breathing. <sighs> okay, reach your arms tall. There's no wind anymore. It's a sunny day. It's peaceful. A little ladybug or maybe a butterfly lands on one of your leaves, tree. Yes, your leaf right there. That's where the butterfly is. Hold still. Don't let it shake. Very good. Switch sides. Other foot down. Other foot up. Maybe you bring it to the same place, maybe a little different. Now, let's grow our branches again. They can go fast or slow. I want mine to grow slow this time, but you might choose fast. It's just whatever you want. Okay, so go and grow and grow and grow. It's hard work to grow. Yeah, all the way out. This tree lives where there's a snowstorm. So, whoo, the branches are going wild. Show me your wild, snowy branches. Yeah. Wow, that's a really wild one. Now, be still. There's a butterfly coming again. Or maybe a bird. Yeah, I think it's a bird. Maybe it's a mama. She has a nest in your tree. A mama bird is feeding her little birds in the nest. Be really still. Oh, they're chirping. Can you hear them chirp? Yeah. Good job. Okay, come out of your tree pose. You all are very strong because we held those tree poses for a long time, and none of you gave up. Let's go to the back of our mats, and we're going to come down low. Now, this next pose is fun and it's a little bit hoppy, and it might even say ribbit. Can you tell me which animal I am in this pose? That's right, I'm a frog. So we're gonna put our hands out in front of us, and we're going to jump up and say ribbit. Ready? Ribbit! You're so good at that. Let's ribbit all the way to the top of our mat. Ready? Ribbit! 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 Let's do it all the way back. This is fun. Okay. Rivet. 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 One more time. One more time. It's just too much fun to only do one time back and forth. Rivet. 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 One more time. Turn around. Rivet. 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 That was a blast. Come down. Sit down. Put your feet together, hold on to your ankles. This is butterfly pose. Remember that butterfly that landed on our first tree? This is the pose for it. What do butterflies do? They fly. Flap your wings. Flying butterflies. Good. They're a little bit quiet. Yeah. Now bring your head down to your toes. Maybe kiss your toes. Mwah! Nice. So bring your feet together. Cross your ankles. Bring your hands to your knees. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. That felt nice. Let's do that breath one more time. Just once. Inhale and exhale. 
Now, this isn't a pose, but it's a breath. And this breath sounds like a bee. What does a bee make? What sound? Bzzz. Good. We're going to bring our fingers and put them on this little flap that's on our ears. Not in our ears, but on this little flap. And we're going to do a breath like a bee. It's really fun and a little bit silly. I think you'll like it. Bring your fingers to those little flaps and press down. You might close your eyes or leave them open, whichever one you want to do. And take a deep breath. Did you buzz like a bee? Let's do it one more time. Okay, deep breath. Get ready. So good. This has been the funnest day and the funnest day practicing yoga with you. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. We're going to say a special yoga word. Namaste. This word means the good and the love in my heart bows to and loves the good and the love in your heart. And you're awesome and I'm awesome and we can all just be awesome together. That's what namaste means. So namaste, little yogis. I've had a lot of fun.